In this video, I'll show you how to fix the msvcp140.dll missing or not found error in Windows 10 and 11. This error is related to the Microsoft Visual C++ and usually occurs when you try to install or open an application. To fix this, we'll restore or replace the missing DLL file. For method 1, we need to download and replace our DLL file. So let's open a browser and let's go to the dllfile.com website and download the msvcp140.dll file. Now you'll find the link down in the descriptions. Scroll down in the page and here we need to download both the 64-bit and the 32-bit versions of the file. Once the download is complete, let's navigate to the downloaded files in File Explorer. And here, let's rename the files to differentiate between the 64-bit and the 32-bit versions. The first one was 64, so I'll just add 64 to the end. And I'll add 32 to the second one. Now let's right click on each file and select extract all to extract the contents. Once extracted, you can delete the zip files if you want. Now we need to move the DLL files. So let's open the file explorer and navigate to the C drive, Windows, then System32, and scroll all the way down. And drag and drop the 64-bit DLL file into this folder, and confirm the prompt. Next, let's navigate to the C drive, then Windows, then Sys, WoW64 and drag and drop the 32-bit DLL files into this folder. And confirm the prompt. In this step, we need to repair or reinstall Microsoft Visual C++. Click on the Windows search box and let's type appwiz.cpl and press enter to open the programs and features window. Locate Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable in the list. Right click on it and select change. And then click on repair. And just follow the prompt to complete the repair. Don't restart your PC yet. Let's locate the other Microsoft Visual C++, the 32-bit version, which should be labeled as x86. Right-click on it and select Change, and then click on Repair. Once done, restart your PC to apply the changes. Now, if you don't find the Visual C++ redistributable in the list, you need to download it from the Microsoft official website. I left the link in the descriptions. Open a browser and let's go to this page. Scroll down and here you need to download and install both of these files. Once installed, restart your PC to apply the changes. All right, hopefully this will fix your issue. If it does, let me know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.